People ask me all the time, how does your son have this language? How does he have such a good vocabulary? How does he write poetry? Who taught him? And the truth is that I never knew that I was teaching anything. Over the last 10 years, I've been from educational institution to doctor, to therapist, to expert, to center, only to be met with glass ceiling after glass ceiling. And I think these glass ceilings are firmly in place for anybody with Down syndrome, anybody with autism, anybody with a lear learning disability diagnosis, right? And I think that after a while, I just didn't see the ceiling or I refused to see the ceiling and I put my blinders on and I put Sid's blinders on. And I was relentless in making sure that the body was balanced, the body was healthy and the mind was continuously engaged and was having fun. And constantly, I was trying to push the boundaries of what was considered okay to teach and what was considered okay to eat. And I eventually figured out that not only was I good at teaching, I was also good at eating, of course, but I was also good at figuring out foods that could balance the mind. And so what I did was over the last 10 years, I developed a roadmap. And I was pretty insistent from the beginning that if I ever taught this roadmap, it would not just be a food based or a functional nutrition based roadmap, but I would make sure that if I taught functional nutrition, I would absolutely teach nonlinear education. That is what I'm doing. The nonlinear education remains a free bonus because I think that one does not exist without the other. And I wanted to make sure that I taught whoever I came in touch with the my roadmap and just the ability to break every societal and biochemical boundary that is placed on learning and education. So if you decide to join me today um, on R Roll, which is Roadmap to Attention and Regulation, we will embark on this journey together.